Hello there! This is Amanda Wilkson of Amanda Wilkson Tarot. It is Sunday, May the 15th, 2022. Welcome to my channel. I'd like to say thank you to my new subscribers. I do appreciate you watching and I appreciate you subscribing. Ooh, cards are flying. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I thank you for your continued support. If you have not done so already, could you please like, share, and subscribe? It does help out my channel, so if you enjoy my video, please do. Thanks very much. How are you doing today, Scorpio? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining bright inside of you. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with every Scorpio out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there's no gender in tarot. Cut in the deck. For Scorpio. Spirit. Bottom of the deck, the Hermit. Virgo energy. This talks about healing. Taking your some time to yourself to rest, relax, recuperate, rejuvenate. First card out. The Hangman. Hmm. This talks about meditation spirituality being caught between a rock and a hard place dark night of the soul and sometimes you need to look at things from a whole new perspective and either in order to figure them out looks like there's a storm brewing um he's holding on to the hangman's tree his head is literally detached from his body got some feathers over here it looks like being caught between a rock and a hard place Looks like there's a decision that needs to be made, and you are having trouble making it. Oh, there's also rain coming down. What is crossing this? The victory card, six of wands. Wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Looks like you are in a parade. People are on the sidewalks clapping and cheering. You may be famous. You may have a... Um, Instagrammer, TikToker, YouTuber, people are watching you and admiring you. People are watching you in a positive way. The victory card. Consciously known. The page of wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Wands are all about fire, passion. Pages are messengers. This is a passionate message. Wands are red in this deck. Got some red flowers up on the top and on the bottom. He's got a red shirt, red ribbon on his hat. He also has his wand in his hand. He's on a swing, a passionate message coming in for you. Unconscious. The High Priestess, my witchy card. She's independent, self-sufficient, sitting in her throne, sitting in her power. She knows her worth. She got like a bird thing here and uh, interesting, very gorgeous throne. She got a book, candles, her scepter. She is intuitive. She's empathic. She knows how to fi figure people out. She is my witchy card. Sometimes she has tarot cards, crystal ball, that kind of energy. Divine feminine, independent, divine feminine. Recent past, the Five of Pentacles. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This talks about um, a pity play. Um, someone is trying to make you feel sorry for them. Um, poor me, poor me, feel sorry for me type, type of energy. Pity play. Drama. Near future, new money, Pent Ace of Pentacles. Pentacles are Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Pentacles are coins, money. Pentacles are green in this deck, money. We've got um, lots of plants here. We've got a skull. There's moss on it, and we got a grasshopper. New money, a new job, a raise, a promotion, money from a side project. Maybe you've sold something. New money. Where do you find yourself? The Queen of Swords. 
Swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Swords are yellow in this deck. We have yellow background, yellow ribbon on her sombrero, yellow skirt, yellow flowers, yellow heart or flower shaped earrings. Swords are all about honest, clear communication. You need to bring the Queen of Swords honest, clear communication, or she will use that sword and cut you right out of her life. She makes head over heart decisions. If you're honest and clear with the Queen of Swords, she will be very loving and very loyal. But if you cross her, she will cut you out of she will cut you right out of her life. External influences. The strength. This is Leo energy. I don't even know how to describe this card. This looks like um, so a dragon. A dragon, I guess. This person is wrestling the dragon. This talks about taming the beast inside. Can talk about lust and having the strength to get through things that are challenging in your life. Hopes and or fears. The Seven of Cups. Looks like you're playing the field. Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have got seven cups with heart-shaped eyes and nose on this heart, this shelf with a heart on it. Um, you playing the field. You have options in love. You may be talking to a few people. You have a few people talking to you. You have options in love. Maybe that's the decision you're trying to make. Overall outcome. Four of, so four of wands, sorry. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is the 1111 card. This is the party card. This talks about the increase in the level of commitment in a relationship. Wands are red in this deck. She's dressed in red. Looks like she's in a red kind of um, house type thing. Um, this talks about the increase in the level of commitment in a relationship. Could be engagement. Um, you might be having a dress rehearsal for a wedding, for hand fasting. Increase in the level of commitment in a relationship. Bottom of the deck, the hermit. This is Virgo energy. The hermit, there's that star in a jar that you all have. There's this gorgeous casket. He's been in here for a while. He's got a scruffy beard and scruffy hair. This is talking about healing. Taking some time to yourself to rest, relax, recuperate, rejuvenate. The hermit. Oh, someone's got you all up in your head. I don't like this energy. Eight swords. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This talks about being all up in your damn head. Somebody's got you all messed up. This is feeling like you're bound, feeling like you're stuck, feeling like you're trapped, feeling like you're painted into a corner. This may be the, this may be the same kind of energy. This pity play, pity play. You're all up in your damn head, worrying about things. Oh. Maybe this is why. The eight eight cups. Cups are water energy. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. She's got a crown of skulls with purple flowers. Looks like they're crying. She talks about walking away from something that no longer serves you. Uh, sometimes if things aren't working out, best thing you could do is to walk away. So walking away from something that no longer serves. Eight cups. More healing energy. Four of Swords. This is my minor arcana hermit. He is uh, attaching the top onto this casket. We've got some flowers or plants, candles. This is talking about healing again. Taking some time to yourself to rest, relax, recuperate, rejuvenate. And we've got the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Communication. Knights are less mature than kings or queens. 
So, like the Queen of Swords, the Knight of Swords is all about honest, clear communication. You need to bring the Knight of Swords honest, clear communication, or he will use that sword and cut you right out of his life. But as I said, knights are less mature, and the knight can come off as blunt, brash, abrasive, and rush in and out of your life. This is not a consistent energy. This is not a consistent person. Ah, <sighs> you... Caught between a rock and a hard place. No, I don't want to take that right now. The victory card. A passionate message. You figured someone... You figured someone's crap out, I think. New money. The queen of communication. You have the strength to get through anything challenging in your life. You have options in love. Increasing level of commitment, healing, walking away from something that no longer serves. Somebody's got you all up in your head. And more healing. Caught between a rock and a hard place. You got somebody that wants you to feel sorry for them. They've got you all up in your head and I don't want you in this energy. And the inconsistent night of communication. Walked away from whoever, whoever put you in, whoever was trying to make you feel sorry for them, um, got you all up in your damn head worrying about things. You need to just walk away from this. Oracle cards. Mending. Healing. Oh, healing's all over this spread. Um, you can see these two people, it looks like they are building some kind of um, stringing stuff together. They both have wings. Um, this person saw a scoopool of thread, mending, healing. Ugh. Cards are flipping, I'm sorry. Treasure Island. Maybe you need a trip. You need a trip. We have the Victoria we, Victoria Day weekend next weekend. Um, we've got a uh, turtle here. There's a treasure chest. It's open. I got hearts and stars flying around. You may need to go, go on a little trip. Get away from things. Um, and loyal heart. You are loyal, but I don't want you to be loyal to this person who is making you all up in your head. We got two owls here. They both got crowns. There's a heart here. Loyal heart. You have a loyal heart, but I don't think this person does. Not if they're all about pity plays and drama. This could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you seek. Hmm. Maybe one of your options is somebody that could be the one. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance and heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. One of these options... Might go somewhere, it looks like. I think you have to heal first. The Emperor. The Emperor. He is independent, self-sufficient, divine, masculine, paternal energy. Shows him sitting in his throne, sitting in his power. He knows his worth. He's not getting out of his throne for anybody or anything. He can be stubborn with a my wear the highway attitude, but he stands up and does what's best for him. And he doesn't take shit from anybody. And bottom of the deck, the lovers, Gemini energy. I think someone's coming in for you, Scorpio. Here's, looks like Cupid's arrow. We've got a wheel here. Um, we got the strength and the Libra scales.
being caught between a rock and a hard place. Somebody is making your life all dramatic. Pity play. Feel sorry for me. Poor me. Uh, you're the only one that understands. Blah, blah, blah. Do not fall for this crap. But this person's got you all up in your head. And I want you out of this energy. And we have this inconsistent knight of swords. If you're dealing with knights, you need to cut them out of your life. You want to deal with kings and queens, not knights. The victory card. Someone's watching you in a positive way. A passionate message. My witchy card. You know, you this. she's intuitive, empathic. She knows how to figure people out. I feel like you know this person is not good for you. New money. Queen of communication. She stands up and does what's best for her. And she's not taking any of this pity play crap. She will cut you out of her life. You have the strength to get through things that are challenging. You have options in love. It looks like one of these options might go somewhere. Commitment. Healing. Walking away from something that no longer serves. Very important. Healing again. Mending. Treasure Island. Loyal Heart. This could be the one. Stay optimistic about your love life. Heart to heart conversations. The Emperor, independent, self-sufficient, divine, masculine, paternal energy. And uh, the Lovers, Gemini energy. Walk away from, walk away from some, what, walk away from what no longer serves. Um, do not put up with this pretty play. Work on your healing. Um, and you have options. You have options. You have the strength to get through things that are challenging. Passionate message. People are watching you. Um, I think you figured out this person's um, BS. And I think that you cut this person out of your life. Also, new money. New money. All right, Scorpio. Have a great rest of your day. I will speak to you soon. This is Amanda Wilkson of Amanda Wilkson Tarot. Bye for now.